in the Netherlands there is uh, a startup company called uh, Fastnet. Uh, it is a, a company that will deploy fast charging stations all along the Dutch uh, highways. So a total of more than 200 fast charging uh, stations will be located along the highways. Uh, that will be deployed in about one and a half years. So before the end of 2014 we will have hundreds of uh, stations along the highways. The stations that will be um, uh, put in the field and are put in the field by uh, ADB they are all uh, what we call cloud controlled. Uh, cloud controlled means that all these stations are connected to the internet and they are remotely managed. Um, the remote management is very essential for, um, for an ongoing operation of these chargers. If you can look at the chargers from a distance, then you can check the availability, you can check the technical status, you can uh, check a lot of parameters in the chargers and change them um, uh, if needed. The question whether the EV market will take off is um, not primarily determined by the uh, charging stations, it's primarily determined by uh, the car makers. So people will decide to, uh, to buy a car based on the quality and the amount of cars that will be available in the market. So the prices are very important, uh, the amount of cars, the models are very important and we are reaching now a switch point where uh, the amount of cars will be significantly more than what happened in uh, the last years. And then the next question is, can I charge my car everywhere? Uh, uh, firstly, at home, of course, can I charge at home? And secondly, can I do it uh, while I'm on the road? And there people need to have more comfort and more uh, uh, assurance that they can charge their car uh, along the, the, the route that they are taking. Uh, so the introduction of the cars and the deployment of the fast charging will happen simultaneously in the Netherlands and that will really trigger the takeoff of uh, electric vehicles in the Netherlands. The issue with uh, a rollout of charging networks is, is not so much that you have to change the complete infrastructure. Chargers are put at the end of an existing infrastructure. But all the transportation for electricity is basically there. You can take an electric vehicle, go home, plug it into your wall socket and basically charge. That infrastructure is there already. We only talk about the addition of fast charging and faster charging and that is basically not more than the charger that has to be put on the end of the existing infrastructure. If we look at the rollout pattern of uh, the cars, the new electric vehicles, then you will see that those cars will be launched in all those environments where there is uh, uh, densely populated areas, driving distances are not thousands of kilometers but hundreds of kilometers and then it's very easy to pinpoint the, the countries and the locations where the, where the adoption of electric vehicles will be highest. The Netherlands is one of them, but Germany is definitely one of them. Norway, with a, a very positive uh, government mentality and the incentive scheme, is uh, one of them. Denmark is one of them. UK is one of them. So basically we talk about um, Western and Northern Europe. A nationwide rollout in a country like China uh, will start most likely in the big urban environments, so the, the six or seven main hubs that they have around Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen. Those cities, uh, they will be very rapidly populated with uh, chargers and the more rural areas can either be done with uh, existing fossil or, as, uh, as China is doing, with high-speed trains that interconnect uh, those hubs and from the hub you go on with the more peripheral uh, transportation uh, means, and that could again be electric vehicles.